Hey again, everyone. I am the Cantankerous Collector. This is episode number 47. So this is my buddy here. This is Poseidon, the god of the sea. Quite an uh, ill-tempered fellow. Um, this I bought back uh, in the 90s. Um, some guy uh, set up a bunch of these statues on an empty lot near a busy intersection. And he had a bunch of the Greek gods. He had Zeus. I think he had animals and stuff. But um, I thought this was cool. I'm a huge fan of Poseidon Adventure. And I love the whole mythology stuff. You know, monsters, all that stuff. I love that stuff. But this came with one of those big... Uh, is a stand. It was uh, like a Greek, Roman, Greco column um, that you, you can sit this on and stuff. But... Uh, I've had this for well over 30 years, and he's nice. He's a nice man. He's not mean. He's nice. So um, I brought him here because uh, what I have is kind of related. Um, well, I'll just say this. Release the Kraken. Um, I just got this the other day. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, oh my god oh my god uh, uh, this is the uh, Star Ace Toys Kraken from the 1981 film Clash of the Titans this is uh, from their Ray Harryhausen uh, line of uh, statues that they're doing these are vinyl uh, vinyl statues which is like a hard, real hard plastic, but they're cool. Um, this came out, I, th I think this was released last year or maybe earlier this year, but they put it on sale because this was really expensive. And they put it on sale and it was hard to pass up because I wanted it when it first came out, but it was just, it was just too high. It was really high priced. So I'm anxious to see this. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. Oh my God. I'm running out of room. I need to do some uh, some house cleaning and stuff. So, anyways, um, wow, this is a, a pretty cool box. Really cool illustrated box. So, the website said this was limited to a thousand, which I thought was really high, because as cool as this is. Um, a thousand is a lot for something like this. But the box said 250. This is number like 73 out of 250. So uh, I'm not exactly sure. That may just be the exclusive. This is the exclusive. Uh, so it has the girl, Andromeda, uh, the virgin girl that was... Uh, going to be sacrificed to the the kraken uh okay let's look at this here Oh my god. 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 Okay. 
Ah, she's not even taped up. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. All right, what do we got here? We got a Kraken. Yeah, boy. All right. Hot sparks burning the night away. Release the Kraken. So, uh, in the movie, Zeus says to release the Kraken, and then Poseidon, you know, lives in the sea, and he, uh, lifts the gate up, and the Kraken comes out, and it's, you know, it's, it's that glorious stop-motion animation, which I loved as a, as a kid, and I, I still love. This is one of the bigger ones they did, that's why it was so expensive, but, uh, um, this is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Okay, here's Andromeda. Oh, she's pretty. Oh, she's pretty. This is the young virgin uh, nymph. I haven't seen the movie in a long time. I saw it when it first came out at the theaters. Um, 81, 1981. God, I was, I was in high school. And then I think this is also part of the exclusive edition. So the girl against the rock and then the water, the surf that the Kraken rises from. Ooh, yeah. Oh, wow, this is heavy. This is nice. So it's soft, it's soft vinyl, but it's like hard. It's not pliable or anything like that. I mean, I, I guess if you hate it, it's, it could be pliable, but. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, boy, look at that. So the Kraken is, uh, it's not out of Greek mythology. And usually a, a kraken is um, illustrated as a, a giant squid or octopus-like character. But uh, Harryhausen went with his own, uh, his own design. And this looked really cool in the movie. As he rises out of the water, he's wet. And so he kind of glistens and stuff. really cool and here's the the tail instructions I should probably read them use a hair dryer to warm up the socket on the front right yeah so I'll have to get my hair dryer out okay let's see this thing's really heavy I'm gonna put it on high you know what the hell
Let's see if that works. It's just a round thingy. Okay, so I had a hell of a time getting the end of his tail here attached to the other part of his tail. It should have been easy with the heating it with the um, blow dryer and it should snap in. And as the plastic, I think, gets harder, it fits. I couldn't get it to work and it drove me nuts. So I ended up cutting and trimming the tab the plastic tab on the inside of the tail. I um, cut that out and I ended up gluing this. I figured, what the hell? I mean, it's, you know, there's, there's no sense. The only reason you could detach the tail is, uh, is to probably ship it again if you sell it or something. And I mean, I don't plan on selling this, you know, for a long, long time. Uh, I think... If I do have to ship it someday, I can heat this tail and then just, you know, um, snap the glue, I, I think. But, you know, there, there's real, I don't know why they did that. I'm sure it was a production thing because it would have been a real pain to paint these and stuff. And I'm not sure exactly um, the procedure of, of, of making these and stuff, but uh, it just, I don't like that. I don't like when you have to fit something in. It's just because it, it rarely fits. And you can see, you can see the gap. And I fit this as best as I could. It wasn't going to fit any better with the tab. So this is it. I mean, you know, this is the best I could do. And that's a huge seam there, which really sucks. The, uh, the bottom's not too bad. The bottom seam isn't too bad. And the seam on the top and on the right side of his of his tail isn't too bad either. But uh yeah, I just I gave up. I mean I was I got real frustrated. I'm like, this is ridiculous and I, I don't know if anyone else has had these problems. I haven't looked at any of the reviews, so I like to go in with a fresh set of eyes and um but uh so looking at this the detail on this is fantastic it really is it's it's really amazing how well this is done the the the, uh, the colors of the paint job is really nice um i wish the head could move especially because of this seam because then see if you're if you're displaying this with the head looking you know straight ahead like that you can see the seam so it'd be kind of nice to turn it this way and, and maybe then be able to turn the head a little. Uh, but, you know, I bet that that would make another seam. <laughs> and, yeah, maybe that's not, maybe that's not the best idea because you want to see these as seamless as possible. You know, they just, uh, they just look better that way. Um, so is it worth it? Uh, the original price was really high. I think I saved like almost 170 bucks on this and it was still expensive. So with the price I paid, it's worth it. It's not my favorite character ever in, in movies and stuff. Um, but it's, it's a Harryhausen creature and I love that scene and I love the, you know, the design of him and stuff. I love his head in his face. I think it's really cool. So I'm glad I bought it, certainly. And it's it's a great addition to my collection. Um, you know, if yeah, if I had gotten it for the full price, you know, I'd, I'd be kind of on the fence and stuff. Um, these, the uh, ex, uh, exclusive part of it, the girl, Chain to the Rock, and the Surf, um, these were, so I think I paid, it was like $45 more to get these two with the Kraken. And, you know, th these aren't, 
really necessary, you know. So to save 45 bucks, but I don't know. It's also kind of cool. She turned out pretty good. Um, if you could sculpt water, you know, you could just buy this and then sculpt a, a resin water basin. Man, that would look really cool. Um, I don't know how these guys sculpt this stuff, but I would love to do that. I think it's really cool. It's really cool. I mean, you know, I'm not able to spend this type of money on this type of stuff as I get older. You know, it's just, it, it's just, it gets tougher. Overall, I'm really happy with this. I think it makes a really cool uh, display. Um, anyways, this is uh, Star Ace Toys uh, uh, Kraken from 1981 Clash of the Titans, available at Sideshow Collectibles. And uh, pretty cool. I'm happy. I'm not cantankerous. I'm happy. Thanks for watching. See ya.